Well, hello, my wonderful fire signs. Welcome to your weekly reading. My name is Crystal Doty. I'm an intuitive, an author, and the creator of the Modern Mystic Tarot, which we'll be playing with today. This video is for you if you have a sun, moon, or rising in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or if you're cross-watching anyone in that combination. Well, it is Valentine's Day week. It is a week of love. It is a month of love. And I've been talking extensively in all of my posts and videos about how to live a romantic life regardless of what your relationship status is. So remember that love is your birthright. Romance is a result of living a life that you love. So we're going to be actually talking to the romance angels today. My disclaimer is that this week's reading doesn't necessarily have to be a love reading. I did those last week. You can look those up on my YouTube channel. But apply this information where you want. So um, I'm asking that your angels, guides, guardians, ancestors, and the power of God and goddess be here today to give all my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, clarity and comfort in regards to any area of their life. But if you want to apply it to romance, you absolutely can. After all, this is the Romance Angel deck. <laughs> what do my fire signs need to know this week? For the week of love. Very soon. Okay. It's interesting, as I was shuffling, I was hearing this, practice patience, practice patience, and I thought that they were talking to me, but obviously they were talking to you. So fire signs, something is happening very soon, something that you've been wanting, visualizing, and manifesting. It says here, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I think that what I'm feeling from some of you fire signs is this energy of because what you've want, what you've been wanting hasn't been coming as fast as you wanted, you're questioning if you even want it anymore. And so they're just saying, ah, don't let the timing deter you from what you actually want. Just, just have faith that it's about timing. You haven't asked for the wrong thing, um, fire sign. You haven't asked for something that is hard for the universe to deliver to you. It's just taking a little time. What are you gonna do in that time, right? That's the big question. Is it, you know, stomp around and be impatient or are you gonna be full of faith, hope, and excitement that it's coming? That is all up to you, um, but it is coming very soon. So whatever it is that you've been waiting on, take a deep breath and have patience. This just flipped out. This is an extra message. This isn't for any specific sign, but look, we've got the greed card here. The greedy, controlling, stubborn. Somebody might be you. This is what, this is impatience right here. What do we do when we get impatient? You know, if you read my book, What Would Angels Do? I talk about how patience is pretty. The things that we do when we're waiting and impatient make us pig-headed. So don't go and try to control the situation. You want to wait until it blooms naturally, okay? It is coming. Somebody just needs to hear it. Look, it's coming. It's it's like a, it's like a rose opening. You can't force it to, to bloom any faster than it's going to be. So deep breath. You're going to be okay. Why are you so impatient? What it is that you're waiting for? See if you can find that from within yourself and that way you won't feel like it's missing from you, okay? Here we go, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So, uh, Leo and Sagittarius. I'm gonna start here with Sagittarius this week. Sagittarius, what's going on with you? You've got the King of Water, this is great. You're feeling very stable uh, emotionally this week. Now, some of you might be dealing with a water sign. It's not gender specific, so it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, and, and if, if you're waiting for someone, you might be waiting for a, a water sign. Um, but if this is pertaining to you, this is about you getting very stable in your emotions. You're acting from a very wise place. You're leaning in on your wisdom rather than your compulsive behavior. Bravo to you, Sagittarius. I know that's not easy. You have a knee jerk reaction come up this week, some sort of a trigger, something that you want to just quickly compulsively Re react to, but instead you choose wisdom. You choose uh, to stay stable. And um, this is also a supportive card. Somebody might be coming to you, coming into your life to help herald this in. So this is like a new love. Somebody might be setting you up with someone. If this is a new career opportunity, this could be someone that connects you to a, a position or a, a new um career opportunity. So it could be talking about a helpful person coming into your life this week that really helps you, uh, you know, bring in what it is that you're waiting for. But you are definitely embodying the idea that patience is pretty. Um, so you are supported, you are stable, 
and you're acting from a controlled place, uh, a wise place rather than an immature knee-jerk reaction, and what it is you're waiting for is on its way. So good for you, Sagittarius. It's a great week. Leo, you've got the Ace of Water. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got some new love coming in. Um, definitely new love. New love coming very soon. Uh, this is also talking about a possible new home, uh, a move. You're feeling very intuitive right now, Leo. Your, your heart is really big. If you look at the card, there's a big heart in the sand there. You're coming from a heart-centered space and a faithful space. Um, if, you know, if, you, if you've been worried about your love life, don't worry. Uh, if you've been worried about something coming, I want you to drop down into your heart, out of your head, and just feel that this is where your soul is speaking to you. Your soul speaks to you in your heart. And the message here in your heart is probably gonna be like, chill, everything's fine, it's coming. Um, as long as you don't change your vision too much, you know, just, just be very um, committed and very true to your heart's desire and don't accept anything less. It will come to you. So good to hear for Leo. This is a heart healing. This is uh, your cup runneth over. You're going to feel very abundant in, in patience and in love. Love it. Aries, you've got the nine of earth. What happened to Miss Independence? Just kidding. This is the song that I always sing with this card. This is about Little Miss Independent. Now, it doesn't matter, you could be a guy or a girl, but this is about you really standing into who you are. It's about being resourceful. It's about realizing, Aries, that everything you want and need comes from within yourself. So she's got her own bouquet of balloons there. And the cool thing about when you realize that you have everything you need within yourself is that you can start giving it away. You can give things, you know, it's like coming from a very abundant mindset where you can give away uh, whatever, because you know that there's always more coming. So it's about being resourceful. It's about finding joy in the in the, in the simple things. It's about self reliance. Now this isn't saying. I mean, if this is a love reading, um, you can be that way in a relationship, right? This is about not being codependent. This is about being independent and just loving the person you're with, with no, you know, or very little agenda. So, you know, what you're waiting for is coming to you. And in the meantime, this is just a message to focus on your own empowerment. Um, kind of like what I had said at the beginning before I started shuffling your cards. Whatever it is you're waiting for, see if you can find it within yourself first. Are you waiting for, uh, you know, more money? See if you can feel abundant now. Are you waiting for more, a, a new relationship? Feel romantic and in love now. Are you waiting for better health? What can you do to give yourself a sense of vibrancy today? It's about embodying it fully yourself. This is for all of you, especially for you Aries. That's actually what heralds it in. Um, remember, if, like, if this is a romantic reading, um, if you're looking for romance, so is the person who's looking for you. They don't want to find someone who isn't already romantic, right? They don't want to find someone who's empty. You don't want to find someone who's empty and not into romance, all of the wonderful things that go into romance. You want to find somebody who's already that way. That's what would make you attracted to them. Same thing if, if you're waiting for a job. Nobody wants to hire someone who is, you know, in scarcity mindset. So put yourself in the place that you want to be, and that will make you very attractive to what you are looking for. What you are waiting for is coming. What you are searching for is also searching for you. It's about just really opening up your heart and embodying that which you wish to be with. Whatever it is that you're wanting to connect to, start to take steps towards embodying it. Clearly decide what you want, embody it, and it will come to you very soon. Great reading for my fire signs. Have an amazing week. And until I see you again, I'm sending you so much love, light, and everything right. Happy Valentine's Day.